Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Sister Street Fighter collection. Now, this is in many ways a companion piece to Shout Factory's The Street Fighter Collection. Uh, these both have just been released in the last few weeks as I record this video, and they are clearly two halves of the same coin. They, they share the same color schemes, the same uh, behind-the-scenes personnel. Uh, so many of the cast appears in both of these movies. They, these both feature new artwork by Kung Fu Bob O'Brien. Uh, clearly, these go together like peanut butter and jelly, like, like two halves of the same nunchuck. <laughs> uh, but we've done a review for the Street Fighter collection here on the channel. If you haven't seen it, I'll link to it at the end of this video. You got to check it out. But this, this video is going to be about the Sister Street Fighter collection, the companion volume. Uh, the Sister Street Fighter collection, uh, the, these are the Street Fighter, the Sister Street Fighter movies starring Etsuko Shihomi, uh, who was a protege of Sunny Chiba. He kind of discovered her and took her under his wing, was a mentor. She was a member of something called the Japanese Action Club. I believe that's what it is, the JAC. Uh, and it was Sonny Chiba's, uh, he had formed like a cadre, like an alliance of martial artists to train, to be stuntmen, to be stunt performers, uh, martial arts actors. That was his thing. He was grooming people for the screen, to do this on the screen. And he really took her under his wing. And when the Street Fighter movies themselves became very popular, uh, he saw an opportunity for Shihome to... Uh, to really get in there and, and carve out a name for herself. So in the, the Sister Street Fighter movie, the first movie, 1974, same time frame. That's the thing. Most of these movies, there are four of them. Uh, they're 74 to 76. That's like Street Fighter time. 74 was the Street Fighter. So all this is happening at exactly the same time. So uh, she actually had come from, uh, she's in the Street Fighter. She's in a few of the Street Fighter movies, uh, different characters, but uh, this is her chance to shine. And if there's anything unfortunate about it, it's that Sonny Chiba wanted to be in the first Sister Street Fighter movie. Maybe to bring some credibility to it, maybe to, to put a, sh a little shine on it, to bring his star power to it. I don't know, but uh, because of that, Atsuko Shiomi is uh, a star. She is uh, she's very talented. She's so fast. She's an incredible martial artist. Uh, and she's very beautiful. And so it's just like a total package of what you want from a movie like this. But... Sonny Chiba's in that movie too, and anytime Sonny Chiba is on the screen, just your attention is only on him because he, well, he's like Bruce Lee. Uh, there's you don't watch other people when Sonny Chiba's on the screen. He's you're like, oh man, this is so cool, and then Sonny Chiba enters, and then it just goes to another level. So that's the only thing is he kind of overshadows her in the first movie, though they he never like. He never steals the action, the, all the fights, like the fight at the end, the, the, the climactic battle, the climactic bloody battle. It's all Shihomi in that. So uh, the, the, the great news about it is that in the other three movies, she really gets a chance to shine. Uh, and by the fourth one, uh, which is kind of in a different continuity, she's not the same character as the sister Street Fighter. Uh, she is a different character with a different, it's kind of a comedy to be honest with you. Uh, but she is such a, she's matured into what's happening and she's definitely like magnetic and she's confident. It's, it's really impressive. Um, but the movies themselves, we'll talk briefly about them. Obviously sister street fighter was the movie that started this franchise, uh, kind of from, you know, from, uh, from the birth of, of the street fighter itself comes the sister street fighter movies. The second one. Um, kind of begins its own thing, I would say. And there's some great stunt work in there. I was watching it uh, with my wife, and, and we're they run into an alley. So Shihomi runs into this alley. It's a narrow alley. She's being chased. She looks to the left. She looks to the right. Nowhere to go but up. And so she just puts her feet on the sides of the two buildings and just shimmies up. And then the guy chases behind her, and he goes up the side of the building too, and then they have this big confrontation on the top of this building. Uh, it's incredible, and we don't have anything like that now. There's nothing to compare it to. You know, everything now is wire work. It's CGI. There's no wire work. These people just went up a building. Um, <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, and so the third one, here's the thing. That I, I'm not talking much about the plots because there's really not much plot. Uh, they're kind of similar. In the, in, like in all three of them, uh, someone has gone missing behind like Yakuza lines. This is a very mafia crime, organized crime related movies. Someone has gone behind uh, crime lines and gotten lost, gotten kidnapped. They've, they're missing. And so you send in 
the specialist, the only person with the ability to bring those people back. Um, that's like all three of the first movies. That's the plot. So we got to go get this person who can do it. Sister Street Fighter can. Um, and so the fourth one, again, is a departure, but uh, it's kind of its own thing. But by the third movie, I notice a distinct spaghetti western tone. And, I, you know, that's not surprising because I think that at that time, the Italian spaghetti western, even the American western was kind of feeding off. Everybody was feeding off everybody else. You know, you've got the whole Seven Samurai thing, the Magnificent Seven. Uh, Sonny Chiba himself says he was highly influenced by westerns. Uh, so I don't think I'm imagining a spaghetti western tone, the music, the horns, you know, a lot of trumpets, the iconic imagery, you know, there's like a hanging on a hill. Um, all that stuff comes out of spaghetti westerns. There's tight close-ups on faces and eyes, you know, Sergio Leone style. Um, so the third one really, really feels like even the structure of the movie, the way that the beats are, there are beats of a spaghetti western. Uh, you know, usually a hero gets, he has his... Uh, he gets captured at some point in the movie and he gets tortured and then he has to overcome and like a lot of that is repeated in the third movie which is the names of the movies by the way we got the sister street fighter or just sister street fighter and then sister street fighter hanging by a thread is the second one the third one is uh return of the sister street fighter and then the fourth one which is kind of unrelated is uh sister street fighter uh fifth level fist but they're fantastic. They're all fantastic in their own way. Uh, they are not... Uh, sometimes when you get four movies in a series, there's diminishing returns. I really can't say that here. Obviously, I think the first one is the best because it's got Sonny Chiba in it. Uh, but they're all good, man. They're all good. So let's dig into this package itself because uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of this release. I think this is the release for these movies that they needed, that I wanted for them, and they got them. So... Uh, the special features, they're loaded with special features. Uh, there, first of all, I'll say there's alternate artwork. I always flip to an, like, this is a reversible sleeve. Uh, it's got the, the Kung Fu Bob artwork on the other side of it. Um, I always like to go with alternate. If I have a choice of alternate artwork beneath the slip case, I'm always going to go with that. Uh, but it's got, obviously the movies have been remastered into high definition. They look great. Um, they don't, you know, like I, to, I, I will point out, just like I did with the Street Fighter collection, they don't look like brand new movies because they're not. They look like 70s drive-in quality movies, and that's a good thing. I don't want them to be stripped of all of their filmic, uh, you know, all the little imperfections, all the little white dots and things that would appear on film prints. I like that. That's what these movies, uh, that's how they were born, that's how they lived, and they look so good. Uh, they have original uncompressed Japanese mono audio, which it defaults to. The default, unlike Shout Factory's Street Fighter collection, these default to their original Japanese with English subtitles. Uh, but there are English, uh, there's an English dub for those that want it. There's an alternate version of the first movie. It's the R-rated version because obviously these movies were not rated R. The first movie, I guess we're looking at another X-rated movie because of the violence and uh, some, of the th some of the things in there. There's some nudity too. Uh, but uh, there's an alternate R-rated version. This is the, the version that most of us saw. I think this is the, from what I've read here and what I've researched, it, that's the version of the movie that's really been around for the last 30 years is this R-rated version where it's taken out some of the extra just over-the-top stuff of that first movie. There's about 30 minutes of new video footage that was shot in 2016. So there was an interview with Sunny Chiba about Itsuko Shihome, which it's a shame that we don't actually have her talking about her career, but I don't think... She does interviews about this stuff anymore. From what I understand, she got married in the mid-80s and she just kind of dropped out of the scene. She quit uh, acting. She quit the performing aspect, the martial arts, you know, screen performances. Uh, and she doesn't really talk about this stuff from what I gather, which is a shame because she is fantastic. Uh, you guys, she's the total package. And it's just, it's kind of unfortunate that she doesn't, she's not on here talking about it. But we got Chiba talking about her, which is, uh, you know, obviously the next best thing. Uh, then there's, uh, that's about 10 minutes. There's about a 10 minute interview with the screenwriter uh, of the first three. And then what's really cool to me is they have isolated scores for three of the four movies. Uh, not complete scores because there's a lot of the par parts of the movie that don't have scores uh, where they'll just play out in silence. But there's about, you know, a significant 20, 30 minutes of uh, isolated score where it's just boosted and it's this loud, powerful 
uh, just raw track. You know, you just get the score, no dialogue over it. So the mu- the music in these movies, it, it really is incredible. I mean, it's like I'm sure Quentin Tarantino has pulled it and put it in something. I'm just not aware of it off the top of my head. It's the kind of thing that gets recycled into modern, you know, that kind of a thing. Like that happens all the time. Uh, great scores. You absolutely could just listen to them. They'd be fun to like, you know, you're doing dishes. So just pop on some some sister Street Fighter music with the chicka wow wow guitars. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It's really fantastic stuff. Uh, then there's a lot of trailers, Japanese theatrical trailers for all four films. Um, the original U.S. theatrical trailer, a German trailer. Uh, stills and poster gallery. Reversible sleeve by uh, with a new artwork from Kung Fu Bob O'Brien. And then, of course, what I love about Arrow releases, probably my favorite aspect of Arrow releases, is the booklets that they include. And I say booklet, but they're really almost complete books because they give you uh, so much history and background about the movies themselves, about the time and the place, the context. They really help us to put it, to put all of what we've seen, what we're watching in context of the time, who was involved, where they came from, what they were doing. Uh, and so this is a, let me show you guys some more of this artwork as I'm just flipping through it. Um, and they don't just talk about the sister Street Fighter movies in here too. They're talking a lot about Sonny Chiba's career what he established, uh, the JAC kind of stuff. Here's another one. Uh, but this is this is a substantial book. This is about 44 pages, and a lot of it's pictures, a lot of it's credits and text, uh, uh, you know, credits and, and uh, things like that. But there's a lot of uh, essay text as well. I love Arrow booklets. They are like little film educations in a box. And if if there was a shortcoming of the shout factor, I mentioned this. Uh, for the review of the Street Fighter collection. It's that they don't really give us any extras that help us learn about the movies themselves, where they came from, and what they meant. This does. Uh, this, Like I said, this is kind of like a little film school for the uh, the Sister Street Fighter collection. So I think we've about covered it. Uh, they're very cool movies, uh, very classic. They're not kung fu movies. They're, they're karate movies, karate distinctly Japanese. Um, there's a whole wave of Japanese movies in the 70s and then on into the 80s. Uh, and these are really kind of the birth of that whole thing. Um, early on into that that cycle, uh, these have a, a, a huge place in not just cult movie history, drive-in movie history, grindhouse sort of stuff, but in uh, just movie history in general. Because this is a, hey, let's face it, this is a, a tough, take-no-prisoners lady fighter who is laying waste to hordes of, uh, of enemies in the most gruesome and graphic ways possible. And that's pretty cool. So if you guys are interested, I highly recommend you check it out. This is available now from Arrow Video. Uh, good price right now. It's going for about $35 as I record this video for four movies. All those extras, highly worth it. So uh, that covers our Street Fighter and Sister Street Fighter collections. Grab them both if you're a movie fan. If you love stuff like this, you will not be disappointed. Guys, thanks for hanging out, talking some some. <laughs> what is this? Some Street Fighter and Sister Street Fighter with me. I appreciate you guys so much. Until next time, I will catch you later. <laughs>